Hey everybody, Chad here. I must tell you, I must say I have uh, made this video several times and things keep blooming each day that I don't post it, so I keep wanting to redo it. These are the crepe myrtles. We have a video of us trimming these crepe myrtles um, in the late winter and I told everybody then that these things really go crazy blooming. They're not in full bloom yet. They've still got a number of blooms that haven't opened up all the way, but you can see very pretty purple and pink part of my favorite thing during the summer is when these things are in full bloom for that little bit of time that they are awesome still got our statues to do i'll get to it eventually japanese maple now getting kind of a darker and kind of a purplish greenish color not that uh, really bright color that it was earlier but uh it'll switch back around in a few months just a quick update the deer ate all this stuff but look at these evening primroses they are fighting back even though they're just sticks they still are making a few small blooms and so pretty pleased with that little fighters i was actually going to put them in the trash and chunk them but then they started having little blooms on them and they actually have several more that are going to open up so hey we'll enjoy what we can Deer ate all these too. One on the left here, sunny knockout. They're all sunny knockout, but that one's not doing too hot. It looks pretty rough. Um, it just might've got too stressed out from all the eating down it's had uh, happened to it. We're not gonna spend a long time on these rose trees. They were decimated by deer. They are starting to get growth on them, but they're really uneven all over the place. Uh, I need to just trim them all back, but just haven't wanted to mess with them right now. See this one, just a lot of tall new growth um, because the deer ate everything. It just started growing from where they stopped nibbling. This one would have had tall stuff anyway, but uh, after the nibbling, it got even worse. Um, this is an interesting tree because even when you trim it down evenly, it shoots up these in just a few weeks. So, um, And these are the new ones. Still got the stuff blocking the dogs from hitting them. They're recovering from uh, the deer attack. This is the same as those two new ones. This is a peach drift, and it's actually getting some blooms on it. I'll show you. This thing, when it's in full bloom, is just beautiful. It has so many different colors. There's a few starting to open up. A lot of new growth on this, too. Another video coming soon of cleaning stuff up. Got to do some weeding, as you can see. Now that I'm watering everything, it's the hottest part of the summer pretty regularly. The weeds also grow a lot faster, so got some weeds here on the edge. So our welcome fairies, our other two fairies, another sunny knockout rose tree, and our griffin. These roses here might have, no, I don't think they got nibbled, though they would look like they have a little bit less leaves on them than they did a few days ago, so they might actually have gotten nibbled by something. There's pretty Molly the Collie. It's a pretty dog right there. That's a good girl. A lot of pink blooms here on the Griffin. This stuff really went crazy. The olive trees, some lower pedalums, different things right here. Now on the inside looking out, this here is our trellis. So these uh, lavender crush, they do great in the spring. When it starts getting hot, they don't like it. And they also don't like being sprayed, I don't think, with deer repellent. So, but the flip side is, of course, deer's going to eat them if I don't. Another view of the crepe myrtles. Look at that. Beautiful. Here's our pink ones. Definitely a highlight of the walkway. This is why I've kept making these videos over and over again because we actually have a little bit of blooms on these sweet drift. There's another cleanup here. These are done, but look. Have some more that have opened up and are opening up. 
That John F. Kennedy back there, one bloom, it's not doing much. Climbing roses, got some new growth coming up on it and a lot of old growth, need to trim that up as well. Happy to see the new growth though. We've got a basil break, look at that. Right there, coming up from the ground, nice and red, beautiful. Been waiting on one of those. David Austin Rose has a lot of um, flowers about to open, but not quite. And then of course, the knockouts. They got ate by deer, eaten by deer, and um, still going strong. They're just a little bit taller than I would like because once again, when they ate them, the new growth started from the top. Now, this is probably the last time you'll see this looking like this. I'm gonna be trimming this up quite a bit and I'll do a video on that. But uh, you see a lot of growth at the bottom that started and no flowers on that yet. There will be eventually, of course, but I said, I'm gonna cut all that off and try to get that under control. These were, um, I think, four impatient plants that I planted originally and they have just done amazing. These are proven winners. The mystery basket, which has some stone crop on the front and some um, different things on the back. I don't even remember what all that is. It just sort of showed up. Thought it was Black Eyed Susan's, but it wasn't. And um, then Cat's Meow is what the purple is. But there's our Black Eyed Susan area that the rabbit completely ate. Still nothing to show on the limelight except for the height and some um, flowers about to open up, but not quite. So... That'll be another video when those guys open up. Here's our apricot drift, looking nice. Got lots of new growth, assuming nothing gets in here to eat it. Coral drift. Apricot drift again. And then coneflower still in bloom. I keep thinking these things are gonna be done, but there's. They stay a long time once they open. They take a while to get going. But that's good. Give you something in the middle of the summer that starts. The mystery rose thing. I forget what it's called from Lowe's a few years ago. Still not doing great though, but hey, it's got some roses on it. Don Juan in the back there um, got ate and hated that got eaten by the deer because it was just getting going finally. Some growth on it. I drained just starting to get done here a little bit from all the heavy rains we've had but very pleased with how it turned out. It's just gonna fill this whole area up um, in the corner. Now around the backyard, still mulch is holding up good. Need to clean up this pine straw just a little bit here and then go weed eat a few uh, stuff coming out. Bird feeders, gotta refill those. They still got a little bit left. Birds are enjoying them. And here is the new flower bed at the retaining wall. Got our new dawn back there. Got a few blooms on one side, but a lot of new growth as well. Gonna be doing a video when I do the cleanup of the petunias in front of cleanup of these butterfly bushes. You can see some pink, some purple, and then the brown left ones that are done. Just starting to get some flowers on these uh, sweet drift roses right here. Homestead Verbena, man, they are still doing great. They're just getting done with a major flush. Um, but they just haven't stopped. We've got our Sun Credibles back there, our Pugster uh, purple or blue. Um, the Pugster series are the smaller butterfly bushes here. I've noticed a lot of birds drinking out the fountain too. This is Miss Molly, the pink, bigger butterfly bushes. Sweet Drift. Double doozy right behind the sweet drift over here. Huh, little bird says, I'm gonna get some food, even if you're standing next to me. Really like how this has turned out, just filled in nicely. The bees have been buzzing all over the place here. Hanging baskets up there. Proven winners, petunias, or super tunias and super bills. Yeah, let's come around this corner here. There's our double doozy right in front of us. 
sweet drift just getting some new blooms and growth. Some Nandinas, Abelias, white wedding back there that's just getting um, about to have some blooms finally. These poor uh, Sun Credibles have been eaten by deer, they've been eaten by rabbits, they've been in storms. They're struggling, but still making flowers. Now we have our peach drift row, which you can't even see, at least not much. A few little blooms after they got decimated by deer. I mean, spider mites on a few of them, I sprayed those, and then the deer helped too by eating everything off of them. But these super tunias, these are bubblegum super tunia vista from proven winners. You can't even tell where the roses start. These mop heads looking good. Got a lot of uh, new healthy growth on them. But boy, this border of petunias. I cannot believe the deer have let them get this far. I've been spraying them a lot though. Then we've got our lantana. Hear that annoying sound? I'm going to go cut that off. That's our deer um, owl little electronic thing. I'll show you what it does makes a high-pitched noise blinking lights at night it really shows up and this noise gets real louder and louder and it's uh annoying so we'll cut that off for now let it recharge it's solar powered back over here to lantana if you guys can see that butterfly it's been my favorite part watching all the pollinators in the garden One more look at that row of super tunias. Wow. Starting to trail over the sides. Don't want to step on nothing. Still got a few blooms on the daylilies in the back there and some new ones coming up. These were after, of course, rabbits ate everything the first day we put them out. I think before we even planted them, yeah. It was uh, when I just had them sitting out the first night. Some more lantana. These got nibbled by rabbits. Not bad, but a little bit. But they're they're good, I think. I don't know why I have this little branch sitting there. I just have it sitting there. All the rocks with the sunshine ligustrum. Our tub. Still looking nice. Got a lot of growth on it. Still waiting for some of these to re-bloom. We got some super bills right here we're waiting on. Start over. Some ivy, super tunias, some cone flowers, some all kinds of different stuff in there, but it's all filling out nicely. Baskets looking good. Super bells, like I said, kind of going. All of them are about to rebloom. This is the newer one. Really like the super bina. And super bells. And I love the green around this, although somebody's been eating them, nibbling on them anyway. But they filled out nicely. Here's our farm cart, farm wheelbarrow, as I would call it. It's starting to fill out pretty nicely too. Looks really good. Have a new leaf that's opened up on the elephant ear. That's just such a cool texture right there. Forsythia. Still gotta do something here. I'm thinking of Japanese maple in a pot, a big pot, a small Japanese maple, the weeping kind. They like some shade. St. John's wort's doing good and creeping Jenny. That's kind of it on this part. I'll go up real quick to the deck, just show you the hanging baskets and uh, some of those uh, containers and stuff are looking a little bit rough. They need to be cleaned up or either started over a couple of them. Just need to cut uh, Creeping Jenny from getting too far down on the ground. Looks good though. I like this basket with the statue in it. These here are a little bit between flushes. They were full just a few days back. 
And then this is the one I may redo. It's kind of just got nothing in the middle. The super bells died out for some reason. And it's all just crisscrossed from the edges to the middle and left a blank spot. That lavender right there never bloomed. So weird. I think it got a little hot one day when we were in the mid 90s there. A few little dead spots, but overall holding up good this one here. Got our butterfly bushes, which we're gonna do the video when I was mentioning about cleaning up some stuff. That includes these, deadheading them. Got our angel trumpets in pots. Just very curious to see what they do. First time messing with those. Our pot um, here, once again, super bells are all a little bit between flushes or getting kind of about to recharge. I'm about to also going to be fertilizing them probably in the next, uh, either today or tomorrow. So our super tunes back there. These baskets on the ground, they're falling apart. They're cheap $10 plastic looking things from I think Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, petite Knockout, this purple Super Tunia's Royal Velvet, maybe it's called. Um, this one's still standing. This one over here, the bottom completely bent. Couldn't hold the weight of, you know, plants being in it with some dirt. But I just took the bottom off for now, and so far it hadn't fell back over. We'll see. But yeah, all my baskets, they're getting a little bit warm, but hey, it's just a few days until July started these pretty early so got a lot of time out of them and they're still going good just trim them up and let them refresh themselves all right well if you like this video click the like button hit subscribe and share it with your friends and we will see you soon with some more videos as we clean some of this stuff up we do some weeding some deadheading um cleaning up some baskets and things like that so look forward to those in the next few days y'all take care and have a great day Bye bye Somebody's a busy little bee, except you're a butterfly. Nice. Nice, nice, nice.